we have officially reached that point in history where seeing is no longer believing, at least when it comes to videos on the internet. I can virtually take a picture of you and make you say things that you never said. Can you see the true scary part of this and how people can put others into trouble by using tools like Sora? Fake videos, fake people, fabricated events, completely made up stories, and all this is thanks to OpenAI's new groundbreaking tool called Sora. Sora is an AI video generation tool. And now here is the catch. This technology is so advanced that it can create videos of people, places, and events that never truly existed. Everything you are watching right now, the locations, the people, these are AI generated videos. I don't know about you, this is quite exciting and scary at the same time. Why? Because to the untrained eye, this is virtually indistinguishable from real life videos. However, these videos are completely fabricated and nothing real about them at all because these are not places that exist, these are not people that exist, and these events never even happened in the first place. Therefore, Sora isn't just a random AI tool. For me, it feels and looks like something that has been ripped directly from a sci-fi movie. This reminds me of an Indian movie I watched years ago with a character called Chiti. Is it Choti? Chiti? Well, I am not an Indian. Sorry for massacring that name. But this actually feels like sci-fi. But here we are at the end of 2024, moving into the year 2025, and these kind of tools have become a reality already. This changes everything from education to advertising, event, and even news reportage. It opens up a whole new world of possibilities. But here is the catch. With every great power comes with great responsibility. How is the world going to use this tool? At the end of the day, that is what is going to make the difference. Aside from those advantages that we are thinking of right now, can you think about the negative implications, the fake misleading videos that our social media platforms are going to be inundated with. And then the tricky part here is that these videos almost looks real, at least to the untrained eye. So much so that it is almost indistinguishable from real life videos that have been shot of real life people and real life places and also real life events. The potential for misuse is huge from deepfakes and different forms of video scams. We are literally at this point opening a Pandora's box that we absolutely have no answers to. And that is why I am here at this moment to tell you that. From now onwards, I encourage you to absolutely question every form of video content you see online. Now, don't get me wrong, as at the time of making this video, there are still some few limitations with Sora that when you master them, you can easily be able to tell these videos are coming from AI. One of those key things is the wonky physics simulations that you are likely to see with a lot of these AI generated videos. The other thing is that as at the time of making this video in December 2024, Sora was still not good at image to video creation. And for those of you who aren't familiar with that, it's basically taking an image and generating a video out of it. So I can virtually take a picture of you and make you say things that you never said. Can you see the true scary part of this and how people can put others into trouble by using tools like Sora? And then also the other thing is that you are mostly going to find subject intersections with such kind of videos where people's hands, legs, and things are intersecting at places that are uncharacteristic of real life physics. So for example, instead of putting this tool in the mouth here, the tool is rather going into the nose. This does not happen 
in real life. So these are things that as at the time of making this video can still be easily give away that these are AI generated videos. And last but not least, there are lots of inconsistencies when it comes to generating the video right from the first frame to the last frame. The AI tends to hallucinate a lot. So you start with a subject this way and by the time the video is ending, the character or the subject in the video already takes a different shape or a slightly different format. Things are not able to stay consistent from the beginning to the end of the video. And for me, these are the pitfalls that I've seen with Sora, at least the examples that I have come across as at the time of making this video in December 2024. Remember, this is the worst part of the AI so far. It is only going to get better as the years go by. Take all that I've said as information that is relevant right now because by the next day or within the next few weeks, this AI might have corrected these mistakes and keeps going on and becoming better and better as the day goes by. We are probably going to get to that point in history where these kind of videos are going to become indistinguishable from real life video. But as at now, some of us who are privileged to be experts in some of these things can tell the difference. But can you imagine what's going to happen in the future? Because even as at this current state, a lot of untrained eyes are not able to tell what is AI and what isn't. Think about that. So, what's the verdict? Sora is a kind of technology that can make dreams and at the same time can also make nightmares it is incredible yes it is revolutionary yes let me know what you think is sora the new beginning of the golden age of creativity or a dangerous tool that neither you or i is ready for let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and if you see my face for the very first time welcome this is africa Miss channel over here i do talk about cinematography photography editing and all its related branches if all this sounds interesting i do much appreciate it if you do click on the subscribe button please make sure to do turn on the post notification bell so you are notified anytime i drop awesome content like this right here from the continent of africa please do me a favor by clicking on the like button because it goes a long way in letting others discover this video right here on this platform please click on the like button because in doing that you are contributing to society because a lot of people need to see videos like this in order to be wary about the new age that the internet is entering at this particular point in time thank you very much for clicking on the like button i am staggered by your generosity i'll catch you in my next video until next time as always guys keep practicing filmmaking peace out